And here we go. Can these two guys even put on half the match that Sabu versus Taz did? If they can, it's going to be another outstanding one. But we know what Daisuke Sekimoto and Chris Hero are all about. Daisuke Sekimoto is the only man so far to have two of his matches in the top match playlist on SWE's uh, top match playlist. Of course, um, this could be a third. He just has a really good chemistry style with the guys we put him up against. So far, he's faced off against Taz. He's faced off against Oni Lorcan. He's got one win and one loss to his name. And this is a chance for him to finish off SWE Season 2 on a high. One of the guys who are not 100% sure if they're going to make it into SWE Season 2. I would love to have him there, but it's going to be very much dependent on whether we get a good core creator who does make him. I'm hoping they do because, like I said, I've only seen him wrestle like once or twice um, over in Combat Zone Wrestling and so forth. But he has been absolutely outstanding when I have seen him. And I'd love to see him a bit more. Now, of course, Cassie Sono, Chris here, whatever you want to call him, is going to be on WWE 2K18, so we can guarantee he is going to be there. Will he still be on Carnage? Now, that's one of the questions that's not uh, for sure. Potentially, we'll have to wait and see. I've got some ideas that I would like to put into place. PJ Tovey's got some ideas he'd like to put into place. It's going to be very much down to... Uh, very much down to what happens in the draft, I suppose. Because that's definitely going to be a big dependent. I think myself and PJ Toby have sort of agreed that we're probably going to end up drafting the Carnage guys together as a mutual uh, discussion rather than um, rather than uh, one of us picking on the other one. And I think that's a good one. I think we're definitely going to have a really good roster here on uh, Carnage next year. I feel like we're going to have a much stronger roster on Carnage. It's not going to be as hardcore orientated, but it's going to have those sort of crazy loose cannon style people. And we are going to have some real good matches on here. I've got what I've got penciled in makes Carnage a much more all rounded, strong roster. And I think you're going to really enjoy what it is we've got to show you. As we are underway, then Chris Hero versus Daisuke Sekimoto. Can these two guys put on half the match? That Taz and Sabu did. I don't think anybody can put on half the match that Taz and Sabu did. That's what you get from years of working together. That's what you get from years of of, uh, of mutual ideas coming together. It was absolutely perfect. Chris here with their boot in the face of Sekimoto. Now bringing Sekimoto into the middle of the ring. And a big kick across the spine. Sekimoto sending Cassius Ono over the top, dropping spine first, but oh, Ono straight back up and his feet completely no selling it. I'm so glad that Ono's on the game next year because he's always been someone that we've not been able to get a very good core of. Now, we've got this one, which is okay, but we've never really had an outstanding Chris Hero or Cassius Ono over the years. We've always tried to download him, um, but I think this year we're going to have definitely a good one because he's obviously a real one. He's been properly scanned about that sort of stuff. Nice over-the-top cutter there by Chris Hero into the pin. One, two, only a two count. Which this early into the match you would probably expect. You wouldn't expect it to be too uh, much higher, would you, really? Nice leg drop right across the legs there of Sekimoto by Hero. Hero bringing Sekimoto back up. Big clubbing blow right in the back. Hero, big boot right in the, uh, the leg. And another one in the leg as well. There's the pin. One. Oh, I need one count. Wow, Sekimoto showing what he's got here by kicking out after a one. Hero now, big elbows right in the head of Sakimoto. And Sakimoto's been struggling here a bit. Oh no, has really controlled the majority of the match. And now here we go, the loose camel clutch, only with uh, well, no legs, no arms hooks even. Hero sending Sakimoto into the corner. Hero got planned here. Tornado. Ooh, I was going to go Tornado DDT, but landed it. 
head first across that top rope. Only a two count. Big elbows right in the chest there by Cassius Ono, Daisuke Sekimoto. And a running back center. I don't think he quite caught as much of that as he wanted to. But still, he's really dominating here, Sekimoto. And that's something I actually saw in 2K18. They've done a bit of discussion on the universe mode. And there was a hint. I don't, know, I don't quite know how to read it because I don't know if it was really explained very well. But it said if you pick two people in the universe mode... And this is not the case here. I will stress that this is definitely not the case here. But if you to, if you pick two people in the universe mode, one that's got a really high ability and one that's got a really low ability, the game will generate it as a squash match. So that's an interesting new addition to the game, which I like the idea of because it means we can have proper squashes then. And it's not necessarily a squash. It's not to put anyone down, but the squash match is just to build other people up, essentially. Pin there by Cassius Ono. Only a two count. I'm really trying to get used to Cassius Ono for 2K18 because I always get stuck with the wrong names and this, that, and the other all the time. Cassius is up. Went for the double foot stomp and completely missed it. Which is just about because a man of his size hitting a double foot stomp has moved quite aggressive. Quite vicious. Vicious, vicious, vicious. Ono now up on the middle rope. Brings Sekimoto up to his feet and Ono got planned here. Takes him up. Oh, looking for a Tombstone Power Driver? Yeah. Tombstone Power Driver by Cassius Ono on Daisuke Sekimoto. There's the pin. Sekimoto bleeding from the forehead. That's exactly what you've come to expect so far from Carnage though, isn't it? Blood everywhere. That is what we like to see. Nice cravat style suplex there. By Chris Hero on Daisuke Sekimoto. Sekimoto fighting back though. He is no stranger to blood. He works for Big Japan Wrestling. Blood is just part of the game over there. It's standard. Dragon suplex. Now Daisuke Sekimoto stalking Chris Hero. Wow, what a clothesline. I could have decapitated him. There's the pin. One. Two. Only a two count. I think Cassius needs this win because I feel like 2K18 could be his breakout year. His first year on the game, it really could be his breakout year. He could push his way up to uh, a higher echelon in SWE. Main event champion, possibly. But also uh, potential for well, anything, really. Like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of random matches. There'll be a lot more tournaments in 2K18. Uh, of course, depending a lot on... The AI and how it works, we could do a lot more. Because if, if the game works well, it could work a lot better for me. Because it will frustrate me less and we'll record more. That's the that's the basis, anyway. Sekimoto with a jawbreaker. Oh, nice step up into Guri around the back of the head of Cassius Ono. Sekimoto heading up to the middle rope and flexing his muscles now. He's going to be careful here because Hero's nearly back up to his feet. And, yep, Hero caught him out. Just took too long taunting Sekimoto. As Hero takes him up into a powerbomb. Oh, sit-out powerbomb by Hero on Sekimoto. Now Chris Hero stalking Sekimoto. We've seen this before. The discus big boot right to the side of the face of Sekimoto. I think he may have just checked out for Christmas, but no. Hero, instead of going for the pin, looks to try and continue the assault. Oh, Hero just being cocky now. And it's enough. No, ref, your hand hit the mat three times. I saw it. I saw referee's hand hit the mat three. I heard it hit the mat three times. Big boot in the spine there by Hero on Sekimoto. Boot in the back of the leg of Sekimoto by Hero as well. And a big boot in the spine. Really going all out here now. 
Hero with a front chancery, but clubbing blow against the back of Sekimoto. Now into the corner he goes. Went for the uh, the down low, but Sekimoto avoided it and gets on the back of Hero, looking for some sort of German hero fighting back with a back elbow. There's a couple of back elbows of his own there by Hero. And another big one. Sekimoto flops to the ground. Can Chris Hero take advantage? One. Oh, referee does see the hand on the mat. There we go. This referee might just uh, might just keep himself a place here on Carnage. Considering how bad the referees have been this week with missing these rope breaks, this one was very good. He spotted it. Spot on. And it was in a bit of a tricky situation as well, so I think he did pretty well to get it. Nice big boot to the face there by Cassius Ono. And Ono struggling here, and this match has been a very good match as well. Both the first two matches of the evening, almost 20 minutes each. They're really showing their ability here. And it looks like Hiro and Sekimoto are convinced of trying to get themselves on this best match playlist as well. Sekimoto sending Hiro into the corner. Oh, shoulder first into the turnbuckle post. Why did the longest show of the, of the week have to be the one where I've got a sore throat, eh? I'm fighting through it, I'm fighting through. Sekimoto now grabbing the legs of Hero, dragging him away from the ropes. What's he have planned? Just dropping an elbow drop right into the kneecap of Cassius Ono. And now a boot right into the stomach as well. Elbow right into the chest of Hero. One, two, only a two count. Nice elbow in the heart once again of Cassius Ono by Daisuke Sekimoto. And the later the match has gone on, the more Sekimoto has got in control. Which has been a bit interesting, really. That's uh, it's a good little dynamic, the way that sort of worked. But can Hero turn the match back around into his favour? That's the big question. It looks like he potentially could do here. Looking again for that discus big boot and hits it once again. Is that going to be enough this time to keep Daisuke Sekimoto down? There's the pin. One. Oh my god, really? Really, again, only a two. This match is just determined to follow in the footsteps of the previous one, isn't it? Boots right in the face of Sekimoto Nabihiro. Who drags Sekimoto away from the ropes. And look at the blood streaming from the face of Sekimoto. There's not much more that he can survive, surely. Hero stalking Sekimoto, takes him into the neckbreaker situation and a big rolling elbow to the back of the head, surely this time. One, two. Oh my God. Oh my God, really? Really, he kicked out quicker for that one than he did for the last one. I don't know what to say about tonight's show. I really don't. Stamp on the hand there by Hero on Sekimoto and a big boot in the face as well. Sekimoto fighting back. I've just got no idea what's going to finish this match off at this rate. There's no weapons even involved in this one. Hero boots in the chest. Went for another one, but Sekimoto... Oh my God, look at the blood on Sekimoto's face. He looks like red face paint now, but still fighting through it into oh my, an X-Plex. This man, this Sekimoto for me is just outstanding, isn't he? Sekimoto backbreaker now on Chris Hero. Does he have enough to finish off? Cassius Ono, though. 
That's going to be the big question. Front chancery here by Sekimoto. An open-handed chop right to the stomach and then spinning heel kick to the gut of Sekimoto. And now into a Russian leg sweep. These first two matches have been so long as well. We're into, I'm into the 45th minute of recording now. I don't know what you guys are up to after I've edited it all, but still, it's crazy, isn't it? Big elbows right to the head there by Hero on Sekimoto. And referee telling Hero to back away. And interestingly, the referee having to check over Sekimoto. I think the blood has become that much. The referee unsure whether we can continue here. But this is carnage. We don't let anything like blood stop us. Blood just makes the matches bigger and better here on carnage. That's the way things work. Sekimoto sending Hero over the top of his shoulders, dropping to the ground below, but Sekimoto needs to do something here, something big to finish Hero off, and oh my god, the deadlift powerbomb, oh, deadlift sit out powerbomb, one, two, it's only a two count, oh my god, oh god, I'm starting to think we've got another top match here, you know. I'm starting to think we have got another top match for you. Hero backing away into a corner. We look like we should be seeing another discus big boot at any point in time. Boom. No, no. Daisuke Sekimoto booted the uh, leg out of the way, but he still gets caught with a big backdrop. Folding Sekimoto in half. Ono here bringing Sekimoto back up to all fours and boots in the face. And a big boot on the back of the arm as well. Sekimoto fighting back with the shoulder block. I don't know how this match is still going. I really don't. You look at the face of Sekimoto, you can't understand how anything's still going at this point in time. He's seen some better days, this poor lad, hasn't he? And Cassius can't be further behind. He hasn't been busted open yet, Cassius, but the length of this match must be uh, getting to him. Because remember, Cassius is not the uh, not the smallest guy in the world. And although he does have very good physical standing, it's not the easiest to go on the matches these long. For anybody. This is a good 20-minute match, this one. Sekimoto once again taking Hero up into a jackknife, and I think Hero caught the ropes on his way down. Vicious, vicious powerbomb. Sekimoto dragging Hero middle of the ring. Dropping an elbow right into the inside of the knee. You know, for here, dragging Hero again, fair away from the ropes. And again, dropping an elbow into the knee. That was like a complete. Uh, duplication of the same moves over and over again there. Oh, here we go. Deadlift German suplex bridge for the pin. One, two. Oh, and again, it's only a bloody two count. Oh, my God. What is it going to take here? What is it going to take for one of these two Goliaths to beat the other one? My worry is here is if the other three matches after this one can keep to this standard. Because I'd hate to get to a point where you have two amazing matches and three dodgy ones to finish the show off. Big power driver there by Chris Hero. But he's not happy with just the power driver, surely. Surely Sekimoto's got to be on his last legs here. Boom. Discus, big boots. Drop into the pin, Hero. Drop into the Why are you not dropping into the pin? Why have you not dropped into the pin after hitting your signature manoeuvre on your opponent? That just sounds crazy to me. I know there are the things he can do, such as this. Boom, discus, forearm right to the back of the head, surely this time. The discus big boot and the roaring elbow to the back. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
What am I seeing right now? This is absolutely disgusting. I, I just... I, it's just crazy. They've, they've obviously taken one look at Sabu versus Taz and thought, you know, we can do that as well. We, we, we can last that long. We can have a match that's 20 minutes. It's, it's easy enough. It's no, no problem there. We can do that. And that is exactly what they're doing here this evening. But sometime, one of these two guys have got to finish the other one off. And this could be it. The deadlift sit-out powerbomb by Daisuke Sekimoto. <laughs> Fucking hell. What the hell? Just, just wow. So, after this, we still have for you the Women's Championship match. Rosemary versus Nikki Cross. We still have for you Mil Muertes versus Pentagon Jr. tonight as well. And, of course, the main event of this first video, Haku versus Rhino versus New Jack versus Bam Bam Bigelow for the Hardcore Championship. But we are already, well, I'm already 50 minutes into this match. I don't know about you. Well, 50 minutes into this show. I don't know about you guys, but this is just insane. Hero gets free from the knee bar. I just don't. I just, I just, I just don't. Russian leg sweep now by Hero on Sekimoto. I just don't know what to suggest anymore. Just DDT and the one loose leg into the into the mat now. Hero getting up on the top. This has almost become an Iron Man match now. This is falling into the realms of Joe versus Punk. Hero now dragging. Sekimoto dropping an elbow right into the kneecap of Sekimoto once again. Hero just continuing to attack the forehead of Sekimoto, of course, busted open earlier on the match. Hero booting the gut of Sekimoto, and I went for an ace crusher, but Sekimoto able to break free and just push him away. Takes him up once again, jackknife powerbomb. Puts his body weight on top of him for the pin. One, two. Oh, it's not enough, but Sekimoto rolls him through into that Boston Crab, and of course, that's a vicious Boston Crab because you're holding the legs a lot higher up than you normally would, and Hero's broken free. He's broken free. I cannot believe he's broken free there. And again, Sekimoto hoisting Hero up into another powerbomb. How is this man still doing powerbombs this late in the match? Surely your muscles must be screaming just to finish this match off, but it seems to have just boosted the adrenaline. Second wind here for Daisuke Sekimoto. There's the pin. One, two... And three, and there we go. The second wind of Daisuke Sekimoto was enough to defeat Chris Hero. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like our first two matches tonight have been absolutely outstanding. Possibly two of the best matches we've seen in SWE altogether. And I feel like we might have ourselves two top matches there for the playlist. Easy. We've still got three matches left for you here this evening. And most videos are nearly, nearly finished by now. It's absolutely crazy, isn't it? It's just, I just don't know what to say to you. But the two guys just had so much to give. Super backdrop there by Chris Hero. And that was only enough for a two count, of course. Well, more or less everything was only enough for a two count, wasn't it? Tombstone pile driver. Again, only enough for a two count. But it was the uh, the end play from Daisuke Sekimoto. Several power bombs and the big suplex that finally got the victory. What a win this is for Daisuke Sekimoto. I'm incredibly impressed. Incredibly impressed with what I've just seen. What an interesting match that was. Two absolute top quality matches we've seen here so far. I can't wait to see the rest of the card.